Hello there explorers and welcome to Abogman's Life. It's really good to see you guys. Today we're taking a look at a butterfly's life cycle using the citrus swallowtail as an example. The citrus swallowtail, Populio demodocus demodocus, is widespread throughout the entire southern Africa and it's got a few very interesting life traits. But first, let's get into the life cycle and then we'll have a look at the life traits. As with all moths and butterflies, the citrus swallowtail is also a holometabolous insect, meaning that it's got a true pupil stage and the larvae looks completely different from the adults. The life cycle starts with an egg that is spherical, white and has a flat base. Once the egg hatches into a larvae, that larvae has to go through 5 larval instars or 5 different sizes before it can pupate into a chrysalis. As the imago or adult butterfly becomes visible through the clear shell of the pupae, it's time for that butterfly to eat clothes and to start flying around and look for a mate. Once the butterfly finds a mate, it's time to mate and then for the female to go and lay eggs. The male will just die after mating. Now that we quickly went through the life cycle, we can get into the interesting life traits of this specific butterfly. An interesting life trait of this species is that the first four instars of the larvae resembles bird droppings. That's to hide themselves so that birds don't eat them. What the fifth and final instar larvae looks like depends on the species that it's been feeding on. If it fed on citrus trees, it will most probably be green with some black striping on it. But if it fed on indigenous plants such as the fennel, it will be black and yellow with orange dots. And this is a very interesting thing to note because they look different due to the plant that they ate. When the larvae is ready to pupate, it will spin a thin piece of silk around its body while it's sitting on a twig. It will then pupate. This is a time lapse of a larvae becoming a chrysalis. This pupae will resemble a broken off twig with actual black tips, and this hides them from predators so that they don't get eaten while they're sessile. All of these larvae has a very interesting self-defense mechanism. It's called an osmeterium. The osmeterium is situated in the prothoracic segment and it is inverted when the larvae feels threatened. The osmeterium is crimson red, fleshy and forked. This is to startle small predators such as birds and lizards to run away as they might think it's a snake type. When the osmeterium is inverted, it emits a strong, foul citric acid odor, and this is to repel ants, small spiders, and praying mantises.
that concludes our short look at Papilio Demodocus Demodocus, the life cycle and some interesting traits. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, then go share this video with a friend. And remember to explore, discover and share, and I will see you explorers next time.